Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and a review video is coming your way. I'm coming to you guys with a video and my thoughts on the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer or what else is it called? Base, Primer Base. Um, I received this in a swag bag but I've actually been on the hunt for this product now for a couple of weeks. And when I got in the swag bag, I was super duper excited, super happy to get it. And I've been using it faithfully now for about two weeks. So I figured that I was finally comfortable sharing my thoughts with you. I used to use the Dior Show um, mascara or lash base and I loved it, the primer. I absolutely loved it. I'm going to try and put a picture of it right here so you guys know what I'm talking about. I absolutely loved this product for a very long time. I was first introduced to it as a sample when I went purchasing products off of Sephora and I fell in love so I constantly just purchased it. As you guys know, I have naturally very short lashes. It's I'm part I'm part Chinese, part Filipino, and part Hawaiian, part German, part Portuguese. How many did I tell you? Portuguese, Hawaiian, German, Filipino, Chinese. So yeah, I have five different nationalities, a complete mix, but my Asian nationalities really do stick out a lot, especially in the lash department. I have very tiny, thin lashes, super Asian, stick straight type lashes. I can curl them. They actually do hold a pretty nice curl, um, depending on the mascara, but they're super short and I have a very hard time with you know certain fiber products so lash primers are actually my best friend um, anything with fibers and stuff like that tend to kind of hurt my eyes because of my allergies and so I was on the hunt for this lash primer it retails anywhere from $7.99 to $9.99 in a regular store which is way better than a $30 price tag that you would get from the Dior show now I am a huge huge lover of the Dior show lash primer it's a great product um, it actually lasts pretty long considering the price point I'm able to get several months worth of use from that product itself and it does give my lashes a very fanned out full figure type effect so I do love that but this voluminous primer base is not only a cheaper version of it, but it basically does the exact same thing and I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the details of this product. As So, you get a beautiful, easy to use, a voluminizing brush for the primer base. This amplifier conditions and volumizes your lashes and it is a white primer like most of them that you see on the market today it is a little on the thick side but the consistency reminds me of that that you would get from the Dior show it is L'Oreal's first mascara primer that helps to expand the limits of your lashes so what it does is it coats to give you visibly thicker lashes and a smoother mascara application. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a picture up right now to show you what my lashes look like with the primer on its own without any mascara. And I'm also gonna input a picture, well, hold on. I'm gonna input a picture first of what my lashes look like without any mascara, any primer. So that's going up right now. Now, as you can see, I have very thin lashes. They're very difficult to see. They look non-existent there. They're very small, and not only do they lack length, they lack volume. Now, I'm gonna show you the picture of what my lashes look like with the actual lash primer from L'Oreal on. So this, as you can see, it does have that white base look to it. It is, um, 
starting to really pick up all the tiny lashes that you would not have seen without the lash primer which is awesome and now I'm gonna go ahead and move in closer so you guys can see what my lashes look like with two coats of mascara so I am using the lash primer as my base then I went over with the Essence Get Big Lashes in Triple Black Mascara as well as the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect Mascara. So I did one coat of each mascara over the lash primer. So this is what my lashes look like now. It may not seem like it's that big of a deal, but the fact that you can see my lashes really says a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and read what the packaging says it's a basically a lightweight primer that instantly creates a blowout effect you can never get a blowout effect with my lashes they're too darn short they just lack every type of volume this product really just grabs every single tiny little lash and just boom you can see it like I, I showed you what it looked like after um, it builds dramatic volume and length on each lash lashes are delicately wrapped in a smooth layer of primer to create an even base that will boost the effects of your favorite L'Oreal Paris mascara obviously I didn't use it with any L'Oreal mascara but the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara is one of my all-time favorite mascaras and I have tried it with this. It's not what I use today, but it's a mascara I always have on hand and it looked beautiful. You guys, this does not clump. It has helped so much with non-clumping. It doesn't feather. I haven't noticed any smudging and it's easy to come off. I use regular micellar water, either my simple micellar water or my Garnier ones, not the waterproof ones it comes off I have naturally constantly tearing eyes and it stays all day I've had this on since 7 o'clock this morning and it is now 1 o'clock in the afternoon no smudging it looks really good it feels very comfortable I am loving this lash primer I seriously could go out to the store and stock up on tons of these it is something that I really hope that L'Oreal brings and leaves full-time and it's not a limited edition item but a part of their full line because it's awesome um, it says it's an innovative primer formula that conditions and volumizes the lashes instantly from the first application. Um, it's ophthalmologist and allergy tested, suitable for sensitive eyes, contact lens wearers, and tested under dermological control for safety. I love it. Now with any mascara product, obviously you're going to probably want to only get about three months use. I throw out my mascaras every three months on a dot. They all have a little notation in my planner as to when I need to get a new mascara. So this will be something that I will purchase consistently. I love the way it looks. I love the way it feels. My lashes don't feel clumpy. They have a real nice feathery effect to it. They feel soft. Here's the deal. And here's what I love the most about these. After I apply my mascaras over the primer, I don't notice a difference in my mascara formulation. A lot of lash primers I've used before in the, in the past, especially the ones that have um, like full-on fibers in them, it changes up the consistency of my mascara and I gotta throw it out. And a lot of times I just stop using those lash fiber primers because they suck. They make my mascaras crappy. I have lost really expensive mascaras to them changing up the formulation. I haven't noticed any difference with my mascaras after using these and then going over with this. I haven't noticed any of that. It seems to work really well. I am loving this. I am a huge fan, like I said, of the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. And I think they can't L'Oreal can do no wrong with voluminous anything, okay? Like, it is definitely an awesome product. It's worth the buy. I'm going out to get a spare of this so that in the case that it runs out, 
I will have it because I love it. This will now be a holy grail product for me, especially if you have short lashes like me. I think you will absolutely love it and I highly suggest it. Like I said, if you need to go back and take a look at the pictures or pause them as you need be to go through, I show you what it looks like. I just love the way it feels. I love that when you come up to me, you can see my lashes and people notice. They notice a difference because in order for me to look like I have lashes on I have to use like four different mascaras layer them on three coats approximately total of mascara sometimes and they start to get really clumpy these just feel really good and they look really nice and I love this product this is definitely becoming a holy grail product that's why it was included in my monthly favorites but I wanted to share it with you guys if you are a Dior show lover like me or even the Lancome one I've tried before and I liked that one as well you will love this primer I think I'm loving it ultimately to each his own everybody has a different experience with different products yes I did get this in a swag bag but I will go out and buy five of them right now if I need to I really like it that much and you guys know I keep it real here when I do reviews when I like a product you're gonna know about it when I don't like a product you're gonna know about it whether or not I bought this with my own money or not doesn't change what my thoughts are on whatever I say you know I keep it real that's what it is this should, my channel should be called I keeping it real right but I really do enjoy this you guys I highly suggest checking it out go to a store like Walmart Target anything like that that's got an open return policy and find out what their return policy is on cos cosmetics if it doesn't work for you take it back it's not the greatest thing I mean it is drugstore but I highly suggest checking it out I think you guys will like it considering that I've tried two other expensive brands before which I also paid out of my own pocket I am really impressed I hope you guys enjoyed this video so tell me have you guys tried this product <laughs> have you guys tried the L'Oreal voluminous primer base and if you have what are your thoughts on this product if you haven't is it something that you think that you will take a look at and try out for yourself um, you should be seeing them in stores if you haven't already and I highly suggest it especially if you have like honey lashes which is basically this it's small but these just give it that little more oomph so that you don't have to wear false lashes every day I've been wanting to get lash extensions for a while but I can't and my eyes are just too sensitive until I find someone that has a really good glue this is gonna be my friend because it doesn't affect my sensitivities and I know this is a longer mess longer video than you would like so I'm gonna sign off now don't forget to subscribe on your way out like this video if you like these kinds of reviews and all my social media will be listed down below I'll see you guys in my next one talk to y'all soon guys bye